What's up, y'all? This is Osiris PC Pimp, and today I'm going to bring to you a KDE Connect video, a piece of Linux software that does, that allows your phone and your desktop or laptop to be integrated together, and it does it better than Windows 10. Let's take a look. Uh, so according to the KD Connect wiki, KD Connect is a project that aims to communicate all your devices. For example, the KD Connect can receive your phone notifications on your desktop or just use your phone as a remote control for your desktop. Uh, to do this, they use a secure protocol and et cetera, et cetera. Let's go to the blog for it. Uh, KD Connect 1.01, uh, 1.0 is here. Actually, 1.01 is here, which I do not have. I need to actually post this video, go ahead and figure out how to get that installed on my computer. But uh, you can do things like trigger custom commands on 1.0, like send terminal commands, uh, open up applications, or send uh, you know power state commands like sleep or power off, etc. So you, uh, I, I, what, I, what I'm guessing is that if you can actually uh, make it work in a terminal, you can probably make it work through here. And you can reply to your SMS messages from your desktop or your text messages for those who don't know what an SMS is for whatever reason. Uh, you can receive, receive desktop notifications on your phone and it's got a secure connection as we already stated before. Again, uh, this is a piece of software that requires that, um, and that installation on your desktop and on your phone. And the phone version is looks like this in case you're wanting to go check it out yourself, KD Connect. Uh, software in the Android store but let's take a look at it, the desktop uh, part of it KD connect and if we look here this is KD connect on the desktop here's my LG V10 and here's all the things that my LG V10 and the KD connect can do together uh, if you go down here to your system tray you can see that it tells you how much battery life I have left and some notif basic notifications uh, that my phone has uh, listed at the current time uh, let's go ahead and start up the screen recorder on the phone so let's actually go to let's see what do we want to do first uh, actually let's go back to the desktop and if I click this button here let's see what happens it actually says found uh, so that's this button finds your phone as long as you're within wireless distance uh which is pretty cool so if you lose your phone in your house it gets lost on the couch or where however you lose your phone uh you can go ahead and find it this button will actually allow you to browse your phone file structure wirelessly see so notice i'm not connected the phone companion on windows 10 requires that you be connected this does not have that same requirement which is cool and you can uh, actually uh, browse the entire file structure on your phone. So this is a good way to you know get files and pictures and music and stuff on and off your phone. Amazing. And it just works right off the box. Right off the box, I mean. Uh, what else does we do we have? So if we go to KD Connect on the actual phone, it uh, has some other things that you can do. Uh, so you can actually just easily send a file. And if you send a file from your phone, it gets put in your download folder. It's that simple. So anything that's on your phone can actually be sent to your desktop really easily. Uh, it has multimedia controls, so you can control your multimedia player. Uh, so I don't know which ones it works with because I've never actually used that. And don't forget I'm missing some functionality because I am not on the latest version on my desktop. Uh, and it has remote input, which I think is actually pretty cool. So if you turn it, put it in landscape mode, because that makes it a uh, same orientation as your your uh, actual desktop screen. And we go and we look on the screen. It uh, it's super super responsive. So I'm actually just moving this actual acts this acts as a mouse control uh, remote control for your desktop, and it's super responsive. Like there's zero noticeable latency. I feel like the the eyes are on on this guy on the wallpaper is actually watching the mouse. It's, it's kind of creepy, but anyways. So let's open up let's open up something and do a little demonstration. We'll go to that, and I'm going to do all of this from my from my uh, phone 
and not from the mouse or keyboard, uh, the, the actual real mouse and keyboard. Let's see, so t it says on the screen, move finger on the screen with a cursor, tap for a click, and use two or three fingers for right click and middle buttons. Use long press for drag and drop. Okay, long press, as you can see, does what it says it does. Uh, let's do two. Tap, tap, tap for a click and use two or three fingers for right and middle. So if I do, okay. I'm actually uh, clicking with two fingers, which I don't. Yeah, I don't. Okay, there we go. You gotta actually release it. Fair enough, fair enough. So I'm gonna do that. Open up a text file. Uh, open up the keyboard on here and put test enter and then uh, remove the keyboard and then we're going to actually put it back in landscape i mean uh portrait mode and open up this file double click and open the keyboard and put this oops this is only a test period Ooh, that teat y'all don't want to know about those teats uh, works great all right there you go uh, go ahead and close that save and there you go uh, so yeah I mean it doesn't really have a specific or like targeted purpose it just does a, a lot of things really cool and you know uh in the recap uh it shows your battery monitor from your desktop uh you can find your phone in your uh really easily from your desktop and it, it'll beep audibly so that you can actually go find it uh you can keep your screensaver from actually turning on your computer while the uh, phone and the desktop are connected you can use it as a multimedia controller for your you know music and video programs on your desktop notification sync uh so that means anything that's uh any of your android notifications shows up on your linux desktop uh you can ping your phone uh so you know it's just like a second find feature i don't, I don't know what the difference really is uh remote file system browser uh, as you've seen, I can actually easily transfer files to and from my phone. You can actually run commands uh, on the desktop from your phone. Telephone integration. So that mean, so what that means is, if you get a phone call, it automatically mute or pause your multimedia players, and ap apparently you're supposed to be able to reply to text messages now here it says answer coming answer and coming soon so you can't answer any phone calls yet but they say they're working on that feature which is awesome and virtual input as you saw which works great these are all things that the phone companion does not have the windows 10 phone companion is really useless so another amazing linux application free and open source kd connect go check it out guys uh support the project do some downloading do some retweeting in this video or sharing, liking, commenting and all that good stuff because uh, you that's how we get the word out. But anyways, this has been Osiris the PC Pimp. Uh, thank you for coming to view some more Linux content. Uh, not gaming related this time, but you know, gaming coming soon. I am working on Tyranny, uh, so stay tuned for that. But this is Osiris, and I'm out.